there is a ship with 300,000 barrels of diesel off the southern coast of Puerto Rico that is prepared to deliver the diesel at a time when the island needs all the diesel it can get. This is reporting that was first done, the story was first broken by Mardelli Susino, uh, who works for La Noticias Teleonce. She broke the story. I then, after speaking with her, started making calls. I spoke with the Puerto Rico Ports Director, I spoke with the United States Coast Guard, and I spoke with a source who has a direct understanding and knowledge of what is on this ship and what is needed uh, let's just say to get the ship to Puerto Rico. So here's what we know. There is a ship, I'm told it is a British petroleum ship, that reportedly was stocked with the diesel in Texas City, Texas. It departed Texas City, Texas for the Caribbean. And according to my source, uh, as a favor, if you will, uh, British petroleum has parked off the coast of Puerto Rico wanting to deliver this diesel, understanding that Puerto Rico needs help in the aftermath of Hurricane Fiona, and diesel helps gas stations, hospitals, the government of Puerto Rico, um, big players, small players, everyone who needs it. The problem is there, the ship has a foreign flag. I'm told it's a flag of the Marshall Islands. Uh, in fact, if you go on a maritime shipping uh, app, you can actually see the ship off the coast of Puerto Rico. And because of the Jones Act, I'm told that the foreign flag ship cannot move into Puerto Rico to deliver the diesel unless it obtains a Jones Act waiver. All right, I spoke with the Puerto Rico ports director and he told me that he has confirmed that there is in fact a request from the company that has the diesel on its ship. That company, British Petroleum, has filed a request with the Department of Homeland Security asking that the ship with this foreign flag be allowed to enter a Puerto Rico port to deliver the diesel. That request, I'm told, is pending, according to the Puerto Rico ports director, who says he has spoken to multiple people who are aware of this situation and know that they are waiting on the federal government to make a decision. Will the federal government grant a Jones Act waiver to allow this ship to enter a southern port and drop off these roughly 300,000 barrels of diesel? I don't know if all the barrels of diesel would go to Puerto Rico, but the intention, my understanding is from the phone calls that I had tonight, is they would. I also spoke with the United States Coast Guard. The Coast Guard said that as of right now, they aren't even aware, they weren't at the time I talked to them, that there was this ship holding offshore. It was far enough offshore to where the Coast Guard wasn't even aware of it. The Coast Guard explained to me that usually a ship that intends to enter port to drop off something like diesel would give a 96 hour advance notice. That hasn't been done yet. And my understanding from the people who have knowledge of this situation is that hasn't been done yet because they haven't gotten the approval on the Jones Act waiver. So they're waiting to get the approval on the Jones Act waiver from the federal government. They're hoping that the federal government says, no problem, you come in with your foreign flagship and you drop it off, at which point the company would then make a request of the United States Coast Guard to enter the southern port to deliver the diesel. So as it stands now, as of this reporting time, 105 Eastern, on Monday. The ship is holding offshore. Now, there is some time sensitivity here because um, the individual who, who would take receipt of the diesel um, and others associated with that individual have told me that the ship is not going to stay offshore forever. Uh, it might stay for another 24 to 36 hours, but that's it. The ship is going to leave. Ok, mi gente, vamos a explicar esto sencillito. Mire, esto es un reportaje que lo saca, ¿verdad? Eh, este, Maldelis Olsino de Tele11. Entonces, David Vecnau eh, se encarga de hacer la investigación, ¿verdad? Eh, se entera de esto y hace esta investigación. Y a las 1 de la mañana él tiene este video que ustedes eh, acaban de ver. Básicamente es una nave, un ship, eh, un, uh, un barco grandísimo que transporta diésel, este barco sale de Texas, pero eh, tiene una bandera de Marshall Island, pero el diésel que está ahí es 
de British Petroleum, ¿no? Eh, ¿Qué pasa? Este, eh, increíblemente, aunque este barco sale de Texas, la bandera que tiene no es americana, ¿no? Eh, o el barco no, no cumple con las reglas de Jones Act. ¿Qué es el Jones Act? Vamos a leerlo aquí. Eh, Ley Jones. Ley Jones regula el transporte marítimo de mercancías entre dos puntos en los Estados Unidos, teniendo que realizarse en embarcaciones construidas en los Estados Unidos, propiedad de ciudadanos estadounidenses, un 75% como mínimo, y que estén tripuladas por ciudadanos estadounidenses. Esta ley federal junto con otras leyes de cabotaje relacionadas, garantiza que las compañías que eh, realicen servicios o comercios domésticos compitan al mismo nivel y estén sujetas a las leyes y reglamentos estadounidenses y otras cosas más, pero básicamente eso es lo que es la ley Jones. Eh, este barco ¿verdad? está parado, está parado ¿verdad? Este, en las costas, cerca de las costas de Puerto Rico, pero no puede estar por mucho tiempo, lo más que puede estar es de 24 a 48 horas, más o menos más. Así que esto está bien cerca de que se venza ese tiempo y este barco tenga que regresar, ¿verdad? Eh, por razones obvias, el próximo barco que nosotros estaríamos recibiendo de diésel es el día 30 de septiembre, básicamente en cinco días. Ya David, ¿verdad? A, a, se ha comunicado con, con el Port Authority y con los federales y demás para hacer preguntas eh, y al parecer eso se está trabajando, pero eh, es un proceso largo, ¿no? Este, eh, es una burocracia para que este se le dé un waiver, ¿no? Un waiver es básicamente un permiso especial para que este barco, por la emergencia que estamos sufriendo, pueda suplir ese diésel y, ¿verdad? Y, 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 y estemos más, tengamos diésel, ¿no? Para diferentes emergencias que tenemos en este momento. Así que... En Arroyo Habichuela, eso es lo que está sucediendo. Este barco está ahí parado y, y no lo dejan eh, entrar eh, por las banderas que tiene gracias a la ley Jones. Que estos son otros 20 pesos. Sé que le sacarán el jugo a eso, pero eso es lo que está sucediendo. Eso fue lo que David, ¿verdad? En, en pocas palabras, eh, quiso explicar. Ahí está, ¿no? mi, eh, mi gente. Cuídense.